Thank you, Mother, Father, God. Thank you, Archangels and Ascended Masters for the perfect grace, perfect clarity, and perfect peace that is here for each of us right now. Thank you to the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides, and guardian angels. We thank you for this opportunity for perspective, for clarity, and for peace. If we could just breathe in, and if you could just notice yourself being one of the angels, as you, or just being one of the angels, if we could just notice very simply that perspective, that view, that lightness, that power. And if we could just notice perhaps being among other angels and just being part of that realm, that connectedness, that feeling, and the view. So if we could just breathe into that. And if we could let that act in itself, that communion, that perspective in itself, provide a cleansing and a healing and a reminder of who we actually are, how we are viewed, that we are included, we're not outsiders, that we're included in all the good. And very simply, like blinking our eyes or like going from black and white to color, like in the Wizard of Oz, if we could just very simply just notice the vividness of life. And if we could let that be a very pleasant experience and an enlightening experience. And we'll trust that the highest, highest, highest good is here right now in this moment. So we'll just breathe into that. And if we could, with this perspective, if we could very gently let anything that feels like responsibility be um, handed over to your fellow angels, if we could let any idea of deficiency in any way, shape, or form, personal, national, global, humanity, life, we could just let any idea of deficiency be replaced with plentitude. Everything being filled up, there being plenty of health, plenty of love, plenty of options. And if we could very simply, to quote you too, if we could just not get stuck at all, but not get stuck in this moment, particularly in this moment in time, in human history. We'll notice this is like changing gears on a bike and perhaps the change of the gears of the bike doesn't go smoothly, it's kind of clunky. We can notice that we're in a, a pretty substantial change and it's okay for it to be clunky. And it's also okay for us to gather together like we are right now, to receive help like we are right now, to recognize that help is here and to receive that help like a big serving of soup. So with the soup metaphor, let's notice there's plenty of soup. There's plenty of soup. And perhaps it's okay for us to receive a healthy portion of the soup, as does everyone else. So if we could just breathe into nutrition, breathing into perspective, breathing into camaraderie, breathing into peace. If we could just notice all of that happening right now. Wonderful. And if we can very simply, and perhaps this is a, a visual or a feeling, but if we can notice, um, like a movie perhaps, if we can notice the angels dressing you in white and them inviting you to go to the healing space where our friends, the seven silver angels, which are seven female angels who work with chakras and are very effective as a healing team, if we could notice those seven silver angels inviting you to lounge on a perfectly designed piece of crystal designed to fit your body perfectly. 
If we could just breathe in and relax and lounge on that crystal, which might be selenite, might be fluorite or amethyst or combination. If we could just breathe into perhaps that crystal being your favorite crystal. And if we could just lounge. And if we could notice with a great sense of joy and complete confidence that comes with expertise, if we could notice the seven silver angels arranging themselves around you elegantly, infusing the air and the atmosphere with color, and them lovingly harmonizing together, perhaps with an om, perhaps with your name, perhaps with both. And if we could just breathe in to them aligning their angelic bodies with your highest good. So we're healing, hands on healing, as she's focused with the hands. If we could notice them using their bodies to heal you. We'll just notice the perfection available in this moment. And we'll just notice healing happening right now. And if we could notice as they heal, and if we could notice the healing being our priority, um, our friend Archangel Uriel is asking that it be known, like he's taking care of a task for you, that everything that you want is known. And that goes in this huge yes. Everything that is unwanted is known. And that goes into this huge no. So we'll just notice in this moment that the no contains violence contains opposition, the yes contains health, vitality, harmony, ease, grace, peace. If we could just take Uriel at his word that he knows and his fellow angels and guides and goddesses know what is a yes for you and what is a no for you. So if we could just take all those things off the table as something that we might need to be aware of. Let's just relax into knowing that we are known. A great peace is here. So let's just take in a super deep breath. And let's let our conscious self relax. Let's let our energetic self relax and be, and letting our angelic self, our energetic self be attended to by the seven silver angels and we'll allow our focus to go there. And we'll enter a space where the only words spoken are supportive words, that there's nothing to figure out, there's nothing to defend, there's nothing to justify, just supportive healing words. And if we could notice with the seven silver angels, um, one of them focusing on your right shoulder and another focusing on your left shoulder. 
and that being an act of tremendous love, tremendous peace, and tremendous care. And if we could acknowledge the very simple fact and true fact that our bodies respond instantly to energetic work and especially angelic care, so let's just notice your body rejoicing with this care and this healing. And we'll notice great good being here. You'll notice great peace being here. And if we could notice your shoulders and all the muscles and bones and tendons connected with your shoulder, all of them communicating perfectly with the seven silver angels and there being only relief, only healing, only strength. a release of having endure, to endure anything, including pain, and this feeling an upliftment, encouragement, and a fresh feeling of dexterity, mobility, and clarity in your shoulders. We'll let those feelings extend directly to your neck and your head, including your skull. And we'll let that healing and that lightness extend into your jaw, into your tongue, and everything in your mouth. We'll let there be an instant release of unspoken words. Don't need to hold on to those. And we'll align with the ease in which we could speak loving words, including loving words about ourselves and to ourselves. We'll let the seven silver angels relax, heal, and take care of all of our senses. If we could breathe in, if we could just take this as information that perhaps will instantly land on it. Oh yeah. If we could notice that all of our ancestors, all of your ancestors have already chosen peace, that none of them are advocating for division or violence or this or that. Let's just notice that they're all aligned with peace and that's already done. So if we could feel the positive lessons of history being creating a uniform experience of pacifism, optimism, hope, and peace 
from every single soul who was on the planet, who is no longer on the planet, including our ancestors, including those who might have experienced great violence, including war or genocide. And if we could just notice that they're okay, or a Holocaust, we'll just notice that they're okay and they're choosing peace. And if we could just notice that being brought out very clearly with that articulation, we'll just notice what freedom that gives us. And we'll just breathe into the music of hope. And if we could indeed just breathe into that, breathing into the music of hope. Wonderful. If we could breathe in. And if we could notice a gentle reminder of where we started, which is you being an angel and being among angels, wearing white. If we could notice um, as you lounge and recline on the crystal bed or seat, surrounded by the seven silver angels, if we could just notice them wearing an identical outfit to yours and that being a source of joy for them and perhaps for you. And if we could just notice one of the seven silver angels getting your attention and perhaps through delightful telepathy, we'll just we'll very simply just notice what that one of the seven silver angels communicates to you right now. And if we could feel in our hearts that individual angel's delight, which represents the delight for you and about you from the millions of angels that exist. And if we could notice, as we perhaps really feel unconditional love, Let's very simply take a moment to understand unconditional love. There's unconditional, let's put the un back in it. There's no requirement. There's no fine print. Like a pharmaceutical ad, there's no someone talking in low tones and fast about all the side effects. There's no side effects to unconditional love. If we could just notice that it feels good in our bodies, 
It's how we are actually hardwired. And we're living in a time where people, including people in authority positions, are acting outside of unconditional love. They're acting very conditionally. And it's very simply part of our job in this moment to realign with unconditional love, especially for ourselves, to use that spiritual toolbox and to recognize that there is more peace available for us right now and more love available right now. And it's okay for us to be unconditionally loved. It's okay for us to receive unconditional love. It's okay for us to receive in every single aspect of our lives, including finances, including responsibility, including purpose, including our history. And it's okay for every single part of us to be loved and to celebrate love right now. So we'll just breathe in. And perhaps we could just feel this more than anything, which is feeling us, you, every single being, all of us here right now, really understanding unconditional love and accepting it. And they once in a blue moon do this, they prefer us to um, use our bodies rather than speak. So if it's even writing on your hand, I accept unconditional love or I am love, whatever that is, or really feeling that in your heart. We'll just notice all of that goodness and all that receptivity being here right now. And we'll just notice the highest good being here right now. And let's very simply allow, we don't need to belabor thinking about it, but if we could just notice unconditional love creating order in a world that seems a little chaotic right now, and the world is being broadcast to us as chaotic, let's just notice that it's okay for there to be order. And that if we look out our window right now, there's clouds, there's blue sky, there's a bug, there's a bird, there's a plant, that's orderly. You'll notice that nature is in order, and it's okay for us to be in order too. So we'll just breathe into all that. And if we could notice with effortless grace, the angel you who is there on the crystal bed, becoming the physical you who is engaged in this activity now, perhaps wearing the exact same clothes you're wearing. And if we could just notice the you, physical you, encountering a healing from the seven silver angels or expert healers. And if we could notice the seven silver angels engaging with you with incredible love, incredible familiarity. With casual elegance and great grace. So if we could just breathe in and notice them healing, notice them loving, Notice them activating, noticing them understanding.
And if we could notice, um, heavenly dew drops being placed in your eyes, which heal your vision. And if we could just breathe into that, that wording, that sensation, that clearing, that clarity. Letting true vision happen. And with true vision, seeing everything with clarity and perhaps delight and perhaps our clear vision creates joy rather than any fear. We perhaps see people acting in fear and it's okay for us to act through love. That the solutions are evident and that we feel that we are fully participating in the highest good and the highest possibilities of life. And we'll enjoy all of that. So we'll just breathe in. And if we could just very simply notice these angels, seven angels touching you and with them touching you, them touching your conscious adult who's doing this right now, them touching all aspects of you, your adolescent self, the three aspects of the child self, wounded child, compliant child, divine child, your critical self, your 20 year old self, you could just notice all the different yous, all the different aspects of you being touched. And we'll stay, let our focus maintain being with the conscious adult. We'll also notice every single ancestor, those alive and those past, being touched by the seven silver angels. We'll notice every single past life you've had, and future lives, all being touched. And everything aligning with harmony, love, peace, grace, understanding, and joy. We'll just breathe in to all of this. And if we could very simply notice with you, your human self, your conscious adult self engaged with the seven silver angels, if we could just breathe in, whether you see it, feel it, hear it, know it, sense it, smell it, taste it, or all of the above, or a few of the above, let's very simply notice those seven silver angels, those seven female angels, that team listening to you. No need to speak, no need to explain. We could just be and notice them listening to your heart, listening to your thoughts, listening to your pulse, listening to your energy. And let's notice as they listen, them helping.
Let's just notice that, them helping in all ways. If we could breathe in, let's let them help 10% more. And if that means that we back up a bit, that means that we don't go, well, what about? Let's just back up a little bit and give them some room and let them help more. And let's, with our magnificent bodies and our magnificent lungs, let's breathe. And perhaps without doing anything, let's very simply notice possibility, opportunity, both those things being available. And if we could breathe in and we'll just very simply allow new possibilities, we'll allow new opportunities. We'll remind ourselves that our happiness matters and that we are included in all the good in the universe. And we celebrate life. So we'll just breathe into all that. And if we can notice this moment, you and the seven silver angels, and if we can notice the seven silver angels with perfect clarity inviting other angels to be with you five minutes from now, 10 minutes from now, a half hour from now, a day from now, we could just notice the angels' continual presence in your life. We'll just include the reminder that our language around angels involves them coming and going. They're always around. We don't always need to be aware of them. We could trust that when we do have that awareness that they're right there. And if we could just breathe it and perhaps just celebrate that fact, celebrate that relationship. And we'll notice and know that good things are here. And it's great that good things are here. That help is here. Encouragement is here. Healing is here. Relaxation is here. Flow is here. Possibility is here. Abundance is here. 
clean clarity. This or here, harmony is here, and peace is here. So we'll just breathe into all that. And if we could just place our attention on those silver, seven silver angels, let's just notice what they're doing. Notice how they are, their demeanor. There are no slacker angels, there are no board angels. Let's just notice their, what they're doing and what their demeanor is. Wonderful. And if we could just say to the seven silver angels and all the other angels, the thousands and thousands, millions and millions of angels that exist, who are aware of you and love you unconditionally in this moment and every single moment, we'll say to all those angels, thank you. And if we could just breathe in and indeed have that fresh out of the shower feeling, a feeling or after it rains, this feeling of freshness and availability. Our bodies working in harmony, everything flowing, serotonin, endorphins, ions, the universe. Just notice all this, and we'll notice the freedom that is here, and that there's space. There's space for things to change for the better. There's space for acknowledgement to recognize who we are and what's happening, and the angels are our friends, that they're helping, they've already helped, and they'll continue to help, that we're not doing any of this on our own. So we'll just breathe into all that, all that truth, with great harmony, great peace, great love, and great joy. Let's very simply just notice all the goodness, all the richness that has been harvested, gathered, and is in every single cell in your body. We'll notice that existing, We'll notice there being no angel goodbyes from the seven silver angels, just continuation, continuation, relationship, relationship, relationship. They continue to be with us and continue to help us. And we'll just breathe in with our brilliant lungs, feeling our hearts beating, our brains functioning well, our bodies thriving. And with great harmony and great grace, we'll just be in the space that we're in, recognizing all that has changed, that there's more hope, more gratitude and more peace. And into this space, we thank the presence of Mother, Father, God and all the archangels and ascended masters. We thank as well the angelic realm, the elemental realm, our ancestors, spirit guides, animal guides and guardian angels. We thank you for all this goodness and all this grace right now, knowing that everything truly is in perfect and divine order. And we're so grateful for this day, for this moment, and for this connection, we thank the seven silver angels. We thank Archangel Uriel. We thank all the angels we know by name, all the angels that we don't know by name, all the goddesses and guides that are here, and all of our ancestors and all of our past lives and future lives too. We celebrate all of this. We honor every single aspect of ourselves, child selves, adolescent selves, conscious adult selves, every single part of us. And with clarity, peace, and ease, we ask for this or something better right now in all directions of time. And so it is.